All right, guys, now on our way to tying the full Windsor. So remember, this one is a bit more formal than the half Windsor. And also, if you have a bit of a thicker neck, this is the type of tie you're going to want to tie. So, once again, button up that collar, pop that collar, and let's roll. So, just like we did it with the half Windsor, step one, take the larger end, bring it over the smaller end. We've done this before, we're pros at this. This is very similar to the half Windsor. We're going to take the larger end, bring it up, through the hole, and over. Just like in the half Windsor. And take the larger end and bring it behind the smaller end. So once again, the outer part or the inner part is facing the outside. Now this is where the half Windsor and the full Windsor diverge. Just as we brought this part of the tie up and over before, we're going to do the same thing, but the opposite. From the forward, right to the back, like that. You can already see a bit of the knot forming. Now, the rest of the rest of tying the full Windsor is just like tying the half Windsor. We take this part, the larger part of the tie, bring it over our knot. And here you see we have the knot the full Windsor. Now, bring the larger part up, through, and over. And now, all we have to do is feed the larger end, the front end, through that little hole we made. And once again, to tighten, you take the knot, you hold the knot and pull it up while pulling the smaller end down. And remember, you want to tighten it so that you don't see the button, but remember, you don't want to be choking yourself. You want to give yourself some breathing room. Bring down the collar, and there we have the full Windsor. Bye, 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 bye,